Someday I would buy. You know, as women, especially black women, we have this love hate relationship with our hair. It's like we're constantly trying to figure out the best way to treat it, to style it, or to care for it. And I know I'm not the only one out here still learning, still trying to figure it all out. Do I cut it all off, start fresh? Do I let it do its own thing in its natural form? Or do I keep it in protective styles just for the sake of convenience and my own sanity? It's a constant struggle, but I guess that's just the beauty of being a black woman with all this versatility that comes with it. recently put a not recently but like a couple months ago i put a relaxer in my hair and i think i either let it sit in too long or it was completely old so i have to chop off a lot of my hair with that being said your girl is going back completely and 100 natural and i'm no longer doing relaxers when i went natural before it was amazing it was beautiful the reason why I decided to put a relaxer in my hair was because one day I was just sitting there and I was like, you know what, I'm just tired of this. I'm just so tired of this. So then I put a relaxer in my hair. Once I put it in, I was like, damn girl, what did you just do? What did you just do? One of my favorite hairstyles when I'm natural is like adding in the kinky hair. It looks natural. I could do a lot with it. I ain't got to do nothing with it. Here's an old picture of me with something similar. I had like shorter and then also added like some um, blonde pieces. Absolutely love this hairstyle. I haven't worn it in years, like in so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that. Now I'm gonna, it really does look like it's like on my scalp. I'm loving it. Okay, so you'll just grab, you'll grab the needle and you'll go towards the um that way you'll go towards the other way so you go ahead and push it in oh wait push it in and then you hook it close and then in the middle you want to Pull, just separate the pieces and pull one piece through like this and pull. I'm going to show you guys again. So here's the hair. It's a really small piece or section. So you push through, hook it, pull through, middle, grab one half grab a half of the section pull it through and then pull tight it's easy to co comprehend what you need to do i'm gonna show you guys one more time and then you got the needle push through grab the hair i always put it on a finger like this just so like i don't like it doesn't get like all stuck together this is the easiest way to keep it like it is and to hook it hook it i just go like that that pull through middle pull one half just like that look and I still have like I still have four more braids to go on this side and look at this okay y'all so I am done honestly I have no clue how long that took I did not um it didn't take long at all though let's just say that maybe three hours and you gotta understand that's including like washing it and rebraiding it so it wasn't it wasn't bad at all uh so you guys know this is 26 and 
21 21 inches yeah I think it's 21 inches or something like that um yeah so I'm going to cut it and straighten it and style it <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing <sighs> it's a couple days later you guys I guess I can see what my hair is looking like so I put these rollers in last night and dipped them in hot water so time for the moment of truth I like it because this is not giving <laughs> what I thought I was gonna give like when I seen like when I seen the girls doing it on YouTube maybe it's because like this type of hair I truly don't know but I'm gonna try to make it work hey guys so here's my hair right now i am not a big fan of it the other day i decided to go and buy me some more hair so i'm gonna go ahead and take this out good morning guys so this is what the hair is looking like from yesterday i was too tired i just cut it a little bit and i went to sleep but as you can see my natural hair is blending in pretty well i have to let it grow on me i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna just like have it today <laughs> something like this like a high puff <laughs> y'all i am so impulsive i was sitting here i've been trying to figure out what i was gonna do with my hair as you guys know i tried an old hairstyle it didn't come out like i wanted to do so i changed it up and i tried this hairstyle seen on pinterest didn't come out like I wanted to okay it did not come out like I wanted it to so here we are again switching up our hair third time in the last week two weeks last week actually yeah so third time switching it up in the last week and a half I've decided that I'm going to try passion twists on my hair I am excited about this I've I've never like cared to get passion twists I was sitting here and I was like on YouTube and then all of a sudden this girl with passion twists popped up but she had them like short. It's like those is cute. Those was real cute. And then I was like, hmm, um, maybe I should, you know, just look into it a little bit more. Now this girl, I'm watching this girl do these boho passion twists. And I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Impulsively making a decision and I'm going to do some boho passion twists. But right now I'm taking out the style. I took out the style that I recently had in and I have to wash my hair because the front of it, as you can see, is so much product in it. I like to pre-part my hair before I start braiding it. It takes away so much freaking time the next day when you have to do it. If y'all have not tried it, y'all need to try it. obsessed with these uh braids y'all oh my gosh they look so good i'm gonna go ahead and put some mousse on i am using the olive oil wrap mousse oh my god 
scarf just to like push everything like down make sure it holds and everything is flat here is my hair i absolutely love this hairstyle like i'm pretty obsessed with it and here's the length of it so it does come down pretty long my best advice though is when you guys look my hair is literally coming out of the braid so i advise that you guys use something that will really like put the hair in there and i'm not like the best twister either so i highly recommend that you guys you know just be wary of that so your hair does not come out of the twist thank you guys for being here i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys didn't see how i did it please let me know down below because i tried my best to like really record it but if i didn't get it and you guys don't understand it then let me know and i'll like redo i'll do another video about like with this bye